to those who believe. Better things come to those who have patience. And the best things come to those who refuse to give up. This was literally a pickup line that my friend Purnima had to use on me on the 15th of January 2017 after yet another dismal performance at the Standard Chartered Mumbai Marathon, the premier race in India. Toastmaster of the day and my dear friends, I'm often asked this question, why do you run? Well, let's take a step back to try and answer that question. Back in school, my nickname was Baby Elf. You guessed it right, I was fat. I used to suck at every form of sports. So much so that my best friend, who was a fitness freak right from school days, once made this categorical statement, Now that pinched my ego. And in many ways, that was my run, Forest, run moment. In the summer vacations that, are, that followed, Every morning, I was out running about three or four kilometers for about 30 days. That bully is still my best friend. And we, you know, we laugh when, we, when I recall this incident. But in many ways, that was my first brush with endurance running or long distance running. Over college, at work, I realized <coughs> that whenever somebody came up to me and said, you're not good enough, this was my strong suit. This was my counter. No, I am good enough. I used to take shelter in fitness. Now, uh, the, 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 the time from about 2010 till about 2014 was a very testing period for me. I mean, for me and my family. Uh, there were some seemingly insurmountable uh, odds which I had to face. And again, I fell back on my strong suit, that is fitness. And in those days, I used to follow the mantra no pain, no gain. Big is better. More is good. So, you know, it is in that kind of a mindset that I signed up for my first half marathon. This was in the year 2013. It was the Etel Hyderabad Marathon. It's the toughest road race in the country. For those of you who don't know, it's literally called a flyover marathon. And yes, it was a crazy thing. I never run beyond 10 kilometers and here I was at the start line of a Somehow I finished the race on my two legs and with an inflated sense of ego, I did something even more crazy. I ran four half marathons over the next six months. I, I literally pray, I thank God nowadays that for all these crazy indulgences, thank God I didn't get injured. Then in 2014, I did a chi running workshop with Mr. Ashok Nath. I signed up eventually with him as my running coach, the gentleman on the right. Anybody wants to take a stab on what his age might be? 30. 30. 30 uh, 90. 55. Run people, it keeps you young. <laughs> <laughs> and this was my initiation into structured training. Some other wonderful people followed. Hari, my strength trainer. Can you go to the next slide? Gayatri, who helps him in our strength and conditioning circuit uh, workouts and Suchitra, my yoga instructor. Now, these people taught me some very simple things, like standing straight, engaging my core, leaning forward. In many ways, they brought the structure into my madness. They also taught me that a massage is not an indulgence in a luxury spa. It's a painful, shrieking, agonizing experience on your physio stable as he releases the tension in in many ways, they taught me less is more. And they made me understand the value of a tree. Can you go to the next slide? Okay, you'll just stop it there. So, armed with this structured training, I took to running the marathon, but somehow we never saw the results. 2015, 2016, 2017. Mumbai Marathon, my timings were 417, 4, and 401. Something was lacking. There was a monkey on the back. So Ash suggested that we should do a smaller race called the New Delhi Marathon, which was relatively newer, a flatter course, a much better weather. Get the monkey on the back, and then we'll come back and perform. And as fate would have it, two days before the New Delhi Marathon, this happened. I fell off the bike and broke my shoulder. Now, 
scary as it may sound, this was a phase in life where running meant the world to me. And needless to say, I was crest for it. But this also gave me time to reflect on things outside running. Things like life. And I came to realize that life is much larger than running. The first thing that hit me was an immense sense of gratitude. Gratitude for these folks, we are called the souls of Bangalore and that's our fortress, the HSR BDA complex. You all are invited on a Saturday or Sunday and come and join us for a run and shoot. Okay? So these guys were the first guys who came to me when I fell off the bike that run and shoot. So the community, the group, I felt a sense of gratitude to them. My parents, to God eventually, that every single day in the morning I could go out and do something that I sincerely was passionate about. Now how many people in this world get an opportunity? The rehabilitation was painful. Uh, I had to anticipate pain. I had to work through pain rather than shirking it. Something that I'd been doing all my life. So yeah, it was a great learning experience. My coach always said one thing. Karthik, the performance is within you. You just need to step aside and let it happen. And so it happened. 2017, I let go of I just enjoyed, like that kid, I just went and I said, I'm going to enjoy this experience of training and racing. And the results started showing. I went below 95 minutes in the half marathon. And with that confidence, I started training for Mumbai at the end. I, I, I understood that to take the monkey off the back, there's some amount of mental conditioning that I need. So I took the help of a psychologist. And she equipped me with a very powerful tool called auto solution. Basically a monkey. My mantra was, I will do better. And she said, just visualize that you're doing well in the race. 18th, uh, 21st January 2018, 5.40 in the morning in front of the Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus. There was this streak of anger, which I would prefer to call sweet disgust on all the failures in the previous editions. But more importantly, there was a question that I asked myself. Karthik, how bad I went on to finish the Mumbai Marathon in 3 hours and 40 minutes. That was an improvement of about 21 minutes over the previous edition. And I wore this medal like I've worn no medal before. I wore it to Mondegar for the after beer party. I wore it on the flight. And hell, I wore it to bed that night. <laughs> Shows you how special this medal is, isn't it? So we already decided that after Bombay and once the monkey was off, we're going to go and do a strong day. And we set ourselves a very ambitious target. Sub 3.30. Now, attempting two marathons in the space of five weeks, I wouldn't recommend anybody to do. And a lot of my friends, my running group, my support system, dissuaded me, talked me out of not doing it. Ash said, let's just go and do it. So I had faith in my coach. I had the confidence that I had derived from Mumbai. And most importantly, I had the training. I knew I had the training to back up my confidence. We went to Delhi. Can we go to the next slide? Can we go to Delhi? Yeah. So we went to Delhi. I wouldn't say Delhi was easy. There were moments when I doubted myself. But I kept asking myself one question. Karthik, is this worth it? And somewhere around the 37th kilometer, yeah, somewhere around the 37th kilometer, magically an answer came from me. It said, Karthik, this is totally worth it. Life is totally worth it. Live it or die. Now, I must admit and submit that I'm a late bloomer in life. Oh, and by the way, I didn't break 3.30. I ended up with 303, 3 hours, 33 minutes, which was still a six and a half minute improvement in five weeks, which is pretty good. Ash was pretty happy with that, so I'm happy. Uh, if your coach is happy, you're happy, right? So, I, coming back to the point, I must submit that I'm a late bloomer in life. And I'm an average Joe by all accounts. But if I can do it, anybody in this room can do it. Now, it, for me, is probably pursuing my passion and learning about life, and the larger context of life from my passion. For you, it would mean something else. There will always be moments of doubt. There will be people pulling you down. There will be even loved ones pulling you down, discouraging you, all in good interest. But you just have to ask yourself three questions. 
How bad do you want it? Is it? I rest.